The third management domain of the COVID process is called, delivery service and support. The first process of this domain is called manage operations. The identifier of this process is DSS1. The process focuses on coordinating and executing operational procedures, which are required to deliver the IT services. This includes the execution of standard operating procedures, and the required monitoring activities. The purpose of this process is to ensure that the service objectives are met. The process supports the achievement of three IT-related goals. The first goal is to ensure that the IT-related business risks are managed. Its achievement is measured by the number of significant IT incidents not identified in the risk assessments, and by the update frequency of the risk profile. The second goal is to ensure that the delivery of IT services is aligned with the business requirements. The achievement of this goal is measured by the number of business disruptions due to IT incidents, and by the user satisfaction level with the IT service quality. The third supported goal is to ensure the optimization of IT assets and capabilities. Its achievement is measured by the frequency of capability maturity assessments, and by the business satisfaction level with the IT costs. The process has two process goals. The first goal is to perform the operational activities as required and planned, and its achievement is measured by the number of incidents caused by operational problems. The second goal is to monitor measure and report operational activities, and its achievement is measured by the percent of operational events to the number of incidents. The process has five practices, and the first practice is to perform operational procedures. The entity that is held accountable for this practice is the head of IT operations. The practice receives one input which is the operation and use plan from the BAI-5 process. It generates two outputs which are, the operational schedule and the backup log, both to be used internally. The activities involved in this practice include, developing and maintaining operational procedures to support service delivery. The operational activities should be scheduled, performed, and monitored for performance and outcome measurement. The outputs should be delivered as planned, and the expected data should be processed in a timely manner. The security standards should be ensured when dealing with the data, aligned with the enterprise's security policy. Finally, log backups should be scheduled and taken as per the backup policy.